When it comes to your health, we hear this word thrown about all the time. It needs to be optimal. It needs to be specific for you. It needs to be optimized. It needs to be 100% on point. But optimal, optimal could actually be making you fat. It could be stopping you from losing weight or even putting on weight if that's your thing. Because we live in this world where we have a plan and we want to stick to it. And a lot of us have mindsets, especially as entrepreneurs, especially as athletes, as successful individuals. We have a mindset of all or nothing. Which can set us back a little bit when it comes to our health because in this mind where we are all or nothing, essentially the environment that we live in does not allow us to be all or nothing. We need to be 80% in order to get 100% results. And let me explain what I mean by that. That is, if you have a meal plan that is to eat this at 8am, this at 10 a.m., this at 2 p.m., this at 6 p.m., and a snack before you go to bed. Life happens. You get a call from a client, you get a call from some staff, and you need to put out some fires. Or you're traveling and you're stuck in traffic. You can't necessarily have that food at that exact moment. Or something happens yesterday, and when I was about to go to the store, there was a motorbike accident. And I was there helping the individual. He was okay in the end, in the ambulance, just getting checked over. But that held me up for an extra hour. If I was stressing about eating this specific food at this specific time, it would have caused more cortisol buildup, stress buildup, whatever you want to put it. More screwing up my mind than it did to chill and think, okay, what can I do at this moment? have something different, combine a couple of the meals, or, like I do when I work with clients, find what works for that person. Find habits we can build up. Eating certain foods at certain times, cool. But what happens when you're at a meeting? What happens when you're at a mastermind event? What happens when they haven't got a boiled vegetable side with chicken breast and maybe a little bit of spice? What can you choose? And that is where optimal comes in because what is optimal today may not be optimal for you tomorrow. I look at all the traveling I've done last year and to stick with a plan that would have worked for me seven, eight years ago when I was competing in bodybuilding would not have worked for me last year. I had to be flexible. I had to know there could be some sort of intermittent fasting, there could be different training, it isn't going to be balls to the wall, my sleep is going to be impacted to a degree and I can only do as best as I can at getting optimal on that specific day. And that's what I talk about in my book, The One Day Body Upgrade, that every single day is going to be different and we can only, we can only ever focus on this present moment, on making sure we do things right this particular day and that is where optimal comes in today optimal may be that you're getting your meals at specific times because you're working from home and have access to full kitchen facilities tomorrow optimal might mean that you have some food on the train you get a chipotle you have a protein bar a protein shake and you get home and have a bottle of oatmeal optimal tomorrow optimal the day after is going to be different to today and when we have this all or nothing mentality, that can beat us up so much. And also, that all or nothing mentality. What happens when you look to have a social life? What actually happens when you go out for date night and you can't take your food with you? We want to enjoy life. And part of health is being mentally strong but happy at the same time. Just being in shape does not necessarily mean you are happy, but being in better shape can allow you to be happier. Let me repeat that. Just being in shape does not allow you to be happy, but being in better shape can make you happier. By being flexible, by being able to get food in when you need it, 
the right food at the specific time. You know not to order loads of sugary desserts. You can order some protein based food when you go to a restaurant. You can order a grill. You can order some meat, some vegan stuff if you need to. It's a matter of using your mind and finding out what is optimal today, right now, for you. And this is what I work with with clients and why cookie cutter programs do not work long term. They do not work long term. They don't give you accountability that a specific plan gives you, that a specific human coach gives you. If you want to talk further about optimizing your nutrition, about optimizing your health, about really getting more focus, more energy, and more out of your entire life, let alone your business, drop me a message. Drop me a message and, and we can chat. See if it's a fit. I look forward to speaking to you.